Did you know that they make cards that are small enough to hide a whole deck in your hand? Bicycle. Go figure. Small enough to hide in your hand. Now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and guess the color of the next card. Now I could have put this to memory, but how good is my memory? I would think the color of the next card is black. And I'm going to continue on. Red. I could be guessing here. Black. Now this could be interesting if I had named and put the cards in red, black, red, black, red, black order. But I do believe the color of the next card is black. So we've changed the order. Matter of fact, it's black again. Now, that would be what, two blacks in a row? What are the odds that there would be three blacks in a row? Very strange. Another one. Four blacks in a row? Now that is pushing the envelope. Somehow we're gonna have to red. We're going to have to have a red one. Here we go. Red. I think you saw the next one is red too. But the next one, what do you think? Red or black? I'm going to say black. Red. I could be doing guessing with this too, you know. It's hard to tell. Because I've got a 50-50 chance, I'm going to be wrong eventually. Black. Black. There's no way I can go through 52 of these and know each color of every card. My mind isn't that good. You know, the older you get, the more you forget. Red. Red. What? Red? You guys are better than me. Red? Now, come on. I think you're guessing along with me, so you would think the next one would be black. I think it's red. And you would think the next one would be red. I think it's black. I can go on like this all day. You heard of the Evelyn Wood speed reading course? Now you know about the John Bates speed memory course. But then I can keep in mind one thing. It's all magic to me.